Bob, and I just got my hands on the Gulf Shores statement just moments ago. It's basically a timeline of what they say happened. They say last week, Baldwin County leaders refused to negotiate. The next day, Gulf Shores says they sent a letter to the state superintendent asking him to get involved. Yesterday, in Eddie Tyler's statement, he said he was the one who initiated that. Now, part of the Gulf Shores statement reads, we have full confidence in Dr. Richardson's intimate knowledge of city school, county school separations, and look forward to working with all parties to reach a resolution that is in the best interest of the children. They also called Tyler's statement, quote, irresponsible rhetoric. Now, Fox 10 News spoke exclusively with Gulf Shores School Board President Kevin Corcoran right after the meeting about Tyler's jab at their interim superintendent and his other criticism. We're passionate about this. I mean, the education experience on our board is incredible. Um, these folks understand all these topics and they understand in depth. And, and you know, we have, we have very lively discussions and, and nobody was happy with the personal attacks that occurred, but we decided we are not gonna stoop to that level and, and return those barbs. And you heard him there. The Gulf Shore School Board says it is not budging on their fall 2018 start date, which is what started this controversy. Now, the state superintendent's office tells me they are working to set up a meeting with both parties within the next couple of weeks. We plan on speaking on camera with Superintendent Eddie Tyler next week when he's back in town and available to comment. Reporting live in Gulf Shores, Alexa Knowles, Fox 10 News.